Hey guys, how you doing? Chris Spinks, SpinksPro.com. It's like the color pink with an S on both ends, SpinksPro.com. I wanted to show you guys a little steeple cleaning we're doing today. You can kind of see it's uh, cleaning up a little bit. Um, what you're looking at right here, this is lichen, meat lichen. That's dead lichen. So um, when you first see it, up here it's going to be like a dark really dark green color and uh, guys before you get crazy worried about me I am tied in got a harness tied in relax this is what it looks like uh, this is kind of dying here but um, you can kind of see the root structure and it's uh, it's kind of loosened up over these last few minutes here, but it'll it'll pretty much just peel off in layers, little sheets. Hopefully that shows up pretty well. Uh, this side, this side's been dwelling for a, a good a little bit here. You can kind of see how how it turns white when it's uh, pretty good to go. You can you can you know you could rinse this off with a garden hose at this point see that so uh, this side's the last side here to uh, soak down real well we get it soaked and uh, rinse it off I believe this one is getting uh, painted as well so but you can just see that stuff flaking off now you cannot pressure wash the steeples well can you yes should you no uh, reason why is you could damage the steeple and now you're passing along the cost of that to the church that you're cleaning the steeple for so if you're getting your steeple cleaned or you want your steeple cleaned at your church uh, reach out to a pro reach out to somebody that's gonna get up there and take all the proper precautions to be obviously again be safe but uh, to protect the protect the church um, the last thing you want is to Pay to have this thing clean and create all kinds of extra damage. So, again, if you want your steeple clean, be happy to do it. Northwest Georgia, SphinxPro.com. Have a great day.